Hey there, everybody. How you doing? I am Francis, and welcome to the Watson Scott test. This is something that I... Oh my god, stop squishing out like that. This is something I've seen that's been circling around lately. Apparently, this game is supposed to, well, basically tell you what your true fear is. So, I would like to know what I fear the most. So, let's jump into this and let's see how this goes. We now we played a game that was somewhat similar to this before. Where we answered some personal questions and it told us how we're going to die. And apparently, I had a... I have a watery death ahead of me. I've been very careful to avoid water, by the way, and I'm still alive, as you guys can see, so we're doing something good. Either way, let's uh, begin. This test is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and the underlying causes of your darkest fears. Great! I love these experiences where I learn a little bit more about myself. Dot, 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 dot. For each question, select the response which gives the best and most truthful answer. At the end of the exa exa examination, I can't speak, you will receive your analysis and a certificate, certificate of participation. All right. Please note that typically only 13% of participants are able to complete the test. Due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death. Do you wish to continue? Yeah, sure, I'm fine with living on the edge a little bit. Yeah, I'll continue. Firstly, some calibrate questions. Calibration questions. I can't read, apparently, either. There's a lot of things I can't do, apparently. How many minutes are there in one hour? Uh, there's 60, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 60. If I have one apple... And you give me two apples. How many apples do I have? Well, you have one. And I give you two apples. That would be three. Am I, are we in kindergarten? Or are we repeating kindergarten? Am I going through another kindergarten class? Are you playing a game right now? Um, No, I don't think this is a game. I think this is more like a, like a quiz. Like a... A questionnaire, so no. Are you sure it's not a game? I'm not sure about anything. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not sure. <laughs> oh, calibration complete. Your test will begin now. Great. I can't wait to figure out what I fear the most. It's raining outside, and you're walking in bare feet. You take one step forward, and crush a snail between your toes. You feel happy, guilty, jealous, disgusted, nothing. Uh, it's been a combination of guilty and disgusted. Why, why would I say I feel happy or jealous? Yeah, I would say guilty or disgusted. Probably more guilty though, because I'm, I'm kill I killed a, a, a snail, you know. You're walking home at night. Suddenly, a deep, booming bark from behind causes you to turn around. You see a vicious dog. Oh, jeez. Drooling from its frothing mouth. You feel. Depressed, scared, angry, excited, nothing. I'm scared. Angry dog, big vicious dog, drooling and staring at me, and snarling and growling at me. Yeah, I'm scared, okay? Your pet cat drops a dead mouse on your front doorstep. Its front legs are missing. You feel proud, disgusted, aroused. What? <laughs> Oh, I don't know how many of you people are, are out there have like a fascination for rats. Especially dead ones that are missing its uh, its front legs. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
Well, I think I would feel disgusted. Like, I have a cat, but we have an indoor cat. Like, our cat never, never goes outside. But in this scenario, if it came home from, came home from a dead mouse, um, yeah, I'd probably feel disgusted. I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not move. Okay. Oh, wow. Um... Very abstract, I must say. I saw a lot of eyes. How did that image make you feel? Happy, afraid, sad, frustrated, nothing? I gotta be honest, uh, that image? I didn't really feel anything. So yeah, I'll just say nothing. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, actually I do. See one also, true story by the way. And if you want to hear that, let me know and I'll be happy to share my little experience. Have you ever seen a ghost? Yeah, I have. I was just talking about that. Thinking about the room you're in right now. Has anyone ever died here? Not that I'm aware of. If there, if there was, I wasn't told about it, but not that I know of. Not to my knowledge, at least. Hmm. Very atypical results. Please indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following statements. Okay. I often think about the ghosts inside my house. No, I never really, you know, gave it much thought. Um, I would have to say strongly disagree. Like, as far as I know, there is no ghost in here. And if there is one, they're being very quiet and they're being very nice uh, roommates slash neighbors slash whatever they are. Other... Oh my god, quit doing that. Other people would say that I'm a liar. Mm, I, would I would disagree with that. Uh, I try my best to tell the truth. I've been very truthful. I'm a very truthful person. I would know if someone was trying to kill me. Um... I think I would have an idea, yeah. There is an unexpected guest in my house. No, I think the only people here are people I would expect to be here, so I gotta disagree with you on that one. Strongly disagree. Nobody would know if I went missing. Oh yeah, people would know I have gone missing. Sorry, but disagree with that. If I went missing, somebody would notice. I don't live here alone after all. Someone would know, just saying. Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. Well, hmm. Like here I gotta either agree or disagree, but the thing is, um, I don't know, I'm kind of like a 50-50 on that. I would say yes and no. Although I think I would say more, you know, I'm going to agree because uh, poetry, you know, you know, rhymes and stuff. And it takes a lot of, uh, it takes a lot of knowledge and knowing your words to make that work. So I'm going to have to say I agree. Correct. I've designed a new algorithm for generating insightful poetry. Here's one I just wrote. Wait, that was a right or wrong question? How's that going to help me realize my deepest fear? Roses are red. Silent as a mouse. Your door is unlocked. I'm inside your house. Uh-oh. Congratulations! Only 41% of participants typically reach this point in the examination. Yay! I'm in the 41 percentage! From now on, the questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? Yeah, I came this far. I can't back out now. I'll keep going. I'm going to go all the way. How far away is the closest police station? Hmm, not that far. I'd say about around the block. Yeah, less than a 15-minute walk. How well do you know your neighbors? Yeah, I say we are acquaintances. Hypothetically, 
If you were to scream as loudly as possible right now, would anyone hear you? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure someone would hear me. <laughs> These walls are very thin. Yeah, someone would hear me. <laughs> you come home late one night to find your front door wide open and the lock smashed to pieces. The first thing you do is call 911. Yeah, call the police. <laughs> I, I mean, I would do this, but first, I, yeah, I would contact the police and let them know, uh, hey, I've been robbed. Whoa, hey, hey, you're sitting by a calm lake, staring into the darkness below the surface. An orange fish swims to greet you and begin, oh my god, and begins to speak. Those who give more, receive more. Alright, we, we got an orange fish talking to us. Is this Nemo? Eat me or be eaten. You decide to cut off my own leg with a rusty switchblade and eat it slowly under the next three hours. Oh god. Walk away and go on with my life, never telling a soul about the experience. Grab the fish, peel its eyes out between my thumb and index fingers, then leave it on the ground to die alone. Wow, that's kind of dark. I'm going to go with the second one. Like, uh, like if I have a if I have a fish talking to me, I think I've probably gone crazy. I go home, lay down, and hope the whole thing was just a fever dream. Cause odds are it probably was. Cause that's the only place where a fish would be talking to me. I will now show an image. Please study it. Oh boy, our image. All right. The image will not speak. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting the image to speak, but okay. Glad to know the image will not speak to me. Well, that actually looks kind of cool, I must say. That might be the thumbnail. Thinking about the image, which phrase best describes you? Wait, what? So think about the image. What phrase that best describes me? Are you saying that, uh, oh, my brain hurts. Are you saying the image is me? Are you saying I'm a demon? I am the fear, I guess? Spider eyes? There was spider eyes in that? I saw a demon. Alright. I'll ask this one more time. Are you playing a game right now? No, I don't think I am. Stop asking me this, okay? It's gonna be the same answer every time. Do you know that I'm a good person? Yeah, I kinda trust that you are. I mean, you haven't done really anything sketchy yet. You are asking me some questions that I already thought about before, but... Yeah, overall, I'm guessing you are a, a good person, you know? Are you lying to me right now? No, I don't think I've told a single lie since, uh... Since we started recording this. Lying is forbidden. Okay. Please select any of the following sports that you have played. I'm not much of a, of a sports person, so... Oh, jeez, stop that. Boxing, Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, or Taekwondo. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu and boxing are the only two I've heard of. I would have to say, oh, these, none of the above. I never played any of those. I've never really been much of a sports person. Please select any of the following industries that you have occupational experiences with. Okay, what do we got? This is a matter of none of the above. I've only been a factory worker. Do you trust me to do the right thing? Yeah, sure. What is the next number in the following sequence? 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm inside your house? Okay, yeah, the answer is 50. Your recent answers indicate you are exhibiting a fight or flight response and maybe at risk of an acute stress reaction. I need you to breathe slowly and calm down. Press continue when you are calm. Alright guys, we're going to take a break. We're going to breathe in. Then breathe out. One more time. Alright, I am calm. 
Are you guys calm? Alright then, in that case, let's continue. I think we're almost done. We can get through this. Please take a moment to look away from your monitor and observe the nearest exit. Make sure you could run if something were to happen. Do this now. Now. Okay, well, I'm in my bedroom right now. Um, our only exit is on the other side of that door and down the hall. Or I could go out the window, but we live on the fourth floor, so going out the window is probably not a good idea. Alright, well, I, I think I'm fine. I'm ready to run if I have to. Did you look away from your screen? You tell me. <laughs> oh, I really want to say that. Uh, no, I, I'm going to be honest. I did look away. Do you think I can tell when you look away from your screen? Well, I guess maybe. I mean, if you're asking if I looked away, I'm guessing you can't. Maybe. Do you feel safe in your house right now? Unsure? <laughs> Are you having fun? I'm having that time of my life! I know. When, when, I didn't read all that. You know what? Well, you know. Please ignore the external stimulus. Concentrate only on this screen. There are no unexpected guests in your house. There are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house. Not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. I understand very, very, very well. Liar. Hey, I'm not lying. Do you understand? Yes, I said that the first time. You make me repeat myself. Don't move or you may die. Oh, okay. I'm not moving then. Up and down and say, oh my god, pop goes the weasel, pop goes the weasel. Okay, this is really going a lot fast. Uh, we're singing uh, nursery rhymes apparently. Oh, now we got the music in the background. Or was that always there and I just hearing it now because I was talking over it. Oh, that sound is really unsettling. There's like breathing and laughing. Oh, Jesus Christ, God damn. You son of a bitch. Test complete, thank you for participating. Your results are being processed. Jeez, you almost gave me a heart attack there. You son of a bitch. I survived the Watson Scott test. Oh, Jesus Christ! God damn! <laughs> My analysis, foolish with money, respectful of elders, susceptible to the influence of powerful people. When I see a cat holding a dead mouse, I feel disgusted. I'm most afraid of what other people think of me. Wow, you know what? That's actually uh, pretty accurate, you know? The main test is complete. There is a bonus test available. Really? Would you like to take it? Sure, I guess we can do it. Sure, we'll keep going. Very well. The second test is designed to challenge your fear tolerance. Incorrect answers will be punished. Ignorance will be punished. Okay. I must also admit that I have not run this test before. There may be unexpected malfunctions. Your answers will be used in the development of future tests. Cool! I'm glad I get the help with the future! Complete this test as quickly as possible. For accurate results. Oh, we got a uh, 666. Oh, boy. But do not let that clock concern you. It is nothing to be concerned about. Really? Really, it's not? Okay, if you say so. After the examination, you will have a better sense of purpose and a stronger resolve. I want you to be stronger. Do you want to be stronger? Well, yeah, sure. Let's begin. Okay, we're wasting a lot of time. 
How many bones are there in a newborn baby that I haven't met yet? How would I know? I'm just gonna say 305, I don't really know. Correct, I, I was right, wow. Oh, 112, what's next? Um. Three. That is cr oh my god, I was so scared there. <laughs> okay. Do you think you're smart? No, I really don't. I really don't. No, I really, I really, really don't. How many times per year does the average human heart beat? If it is still, if it is not stabbed. Well, if it is not stabbed. Uh, uh, I want to say, um, 13 million? Incorrect. Oh, no. One of the most venomous land snakes in Australia, the Death Adder, bites an adult woman, injecting a highly deadliest neural toxin. How long does the woman have to live? Um, I want to say one hour. I don't really know. Oh no, this ain't good. I'm doing really bad. A man is tied to a chair against the, his will, and a funnel is placed inside his mouth. Provost pig intestines are poor. Ew, that's disgusting. How much volume does a man's stomach hold before it ruptures? I don't know the metric system. What do you mean incorrect? I'm telling you the truth. I really don't know. A fear of a fear of butterflies is called um. I don't know. I know it's not claustrophobia. Um. I don't know all the phobias. I'm just taking a guess here. God damn it. Uh, I'm not doing so well with this. A boy with no arms is facing west. He walks forward for fifty si for sixty seconds, and then turns ninety degrees left. He sees someone running at him, so he turns one eighty degrees and begins to run. Which way is the boy facing? Not a trick question. All right, so facing west, and then he t turns ninety degrees to the left, and then does a one eighty. Um, I want to say west. God damn it, I'm not smart. I told you I'm not smart. How did tapeworms enter their hosts? Um, that? Oh, jeez. I'm here knocking on my ears. This is not good, guys. Please choose the third response. This is not a trick. I will not scare you if you do what I say. I am not lying. I will scare you. I will not scare you. I am lying. And I will scare you if you choose this. It says choose the third response. Okay, I, okay then. I trust you. Correct. Yay. Uh oh, I'm almost out of time. What is a positive electro called? Um, I, I don't know. Triad? Nope, that's inc incorrect. Okay. Which is the best video game released in 2014? Um, Finance of Freddy's, I think? Nope, okay. Oh, I'm almost out of time. The time is ticking really fast. What is your favorite thing to do? Um, out of these, I guess, uh, listen to jazz. Incorrect. You don't know me. The test is now complete. Yeah, I did terrible. Your results are very helpful. Your participation was adequate. There are no more tests. Are we really done? For now, we are okay. I am so sick of watching. Oh, you are? Oh, okay. Goodbye. Okay, well, we are done apparently. Alright, well... Well, that was one heck of an experience, so thank you for joining me, everybody, in the Watson Scott test. Uh, we survived, we got through it, we learned a lot about ourselves, and we learned that I'm really not that smart, as uh, as I said, though I already knew that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will leave a link down below if you guys uh, want to take this to test yourselves. 
um, and learn a bit more, more, more about yourselves. So thank you for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time. Also, check out that art test I did in case you guys uh, haven't seen that, and uh, basically see how I will die. Looking forward to that. Not really. Either way, thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.